Oh, what is going on guys? So today's video, we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, I've been seeing adverts for these all over Facebook, uh, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. So yeah, I had to buy one and it's like a paint your own lure kit. I think there's like a competition thing that runs along with it, but yeah, I kind of thought this would be a, a cool thing to do. I think Snagged Bro did a video on this already, not 100% sure, but I think they did. So yeah, basically I'm gonna paint this lure. I've not got that many paints to be fair, so yeah, we've not got that many options, but yeah, we're gonna paint it and then hopefully get out tomorrow, fish with it, see if we can catch a fish on my own paint design. And yeah, I've got not that many paints here, like I said. Um, my dodgy little paint setup. But I wanted to do like a black and gold idea. But I've not got any gold paint, so I'm gonna try and incorporate some gold glare in there. And yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. I, I wanted, there was like this um, really cool Arapaima I saw a couple of years ago. I can't find the picture of it now, but I'm pretty sure it was like black to red, like fade, but I wanna get some gold in there as well. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do that pattern and Hopefully it works out and then hopefully we can catch a fish in it tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna start painting with my ghetto little paint setup that I've got here and uh, yeah, see if we can see if we can get something going and then try and catch a fish tomorrow. You're gonna have to bear with my shadow. It's gonna be a bit annoying I know, but <laughs> can't really get a better camera angle. But yeah, this is the uh Svart Sonka or Abu Bay. I can't remember exactly. I think it's both the same company anyway, but yeah, Mac Hybrid. So, yeah, we're gonna paint this. I'm pretty, it's pretty cool to actually see it without any paint on, so you can see where the weights and the rattles are and everything. But yeah, super noisy bait. So I've never actually used one. I don't really use Abu base that much. But yeah, we're gonna give this a go. So I'm gonna start off, I was gonna do a white undercoat, but I think I'm gonna go for black, seeing as I want black to be the main color of this bait. So yeah, we're gonna undercoat this black. Hopefully it'll look pretty good. And uh, yeah, and get some design on it. As you can see, you can't really tell on that camera to be fair, but yeah, it's basically just a solid black. Just wait for that to dry a bit. I don't have a hairdryer or a uh, heat gun or anything on me right now, so yeah, we're just kind of <laughs> wait for it to dry, but shouldn't take too long, and then I'm going to put the gold on, and how I'm going to do the gold, which is um, a little bit sketchy to be fair, but I'm basically going to put some super glue on the sides, put some super glue on the sides of the bait, and then just bomb the gold onto it, and uh, yeah, I'll give it a bit of texture and stuff. I'm not trying to put loads and loads of gold on there, I just want a little bit, and then we'll put the red belly. A little bit of gold on the sides. I say it's not super neat right now, but we are going over the top and the bottom again. So, yeah, it should look a bit better when it's done. Okay, so I think that'll do for the black on the top. Let's wait for that to dry. I'm gonna come in on the bottom with red. But hopefully you can see what I'm trying to achieve. Like, the gold showing through, but not a huge amount. So yeah, wait for that to dry. We'll get the red on. Hopefully, get this bait looking better than it does now. Oh shit. Right, so the color is kind of starting to come to shape now. It looks pretty good actually, I think anyway. Nice bit of gold in the middle, red on the bottom, black on the top. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I'm gonna put a little bit more red on the bottom, get it more solid, and then I'm gonna add the eyes on. And um, yeah, then she's good for a clay coat, if I can figure out what I'm gonna clay coat it with. So I'm gonna, when them eyes have set, I'm gonna clay coat the bait. Uh, I've not actually got any proper clay coat, but I have a soft baits clay coat. So, 
yeah I'm gonna use that hopefully it works if not it doesn't really matter I'm probably never gonna use this bit again after tomorrow so yeah soft bit clear coat and then hopefully it'll be ready all right guys so it's the next day and got the bait finished I'm pretty happy with that color scheme to be honest kind of matching my rod as well um, the clear coat didn't really take it I actually took half the paint off it so yeah that's not perfect but I think it looks pretty cool so we're gonna get fishing now hopefully catch some fish with my own uh, little color scheme and uh, yeah see what happens hey guys rigged up going for the paddle tail to start with might try it with the curly tail later but yeah see how this swims <coughs> Sinks nice and slow, isn't it? Oh, that swim's pretty good. I've never actually used one of these fish before. That looks really good in the water, actually. Damn, that looks better than I expected. Super big profile, but yeah, that's cool, lads. Not sure, like, uh, how the clear coat's gonna hold up. It's already taken some of the paint off itself, like, so yeah. Might not have much paint left at the end of this, but that'll be alright, I think. As long as we catch a fish, I'll be happy. This weed's annoying me a bit today. <clears throat> I didn't think it was going to be that bad. They've had weed cutter down on it, it's like <clears throat> pretty cold now, but uh, still really annoying. I've got a fish really, really shallow to avoid it. But, you know, the base. The bait's pretty cool. I actually quite like this. Big profile. The tail sometimes doesn't swim for whatever reason, but yeah, it's a really nice lure. Definitely will catch if I find some fish that are feeding anyway. But yeah, like I think I said in the intro, really cool idea this, like, you know, sending your blanks out to paint your bait. But <clears throat> I paid 15 quid for this from Fishing Tackle and Bait no no eyes no paint no hooks and you can get a fully painted one with hooks and everything for the same price so i think that that's a little bit annoying where you know you pay the same price for basically something that they've had to do half the work to sell but yeah here's a cool idea the nice to uh, have a few options where you can paint your own blanks but i think this should definitely sell for a bit cheaper especially if they're not including hooks as well But, let's see if we can catch a fish on this first. My paint seems to be holding up pretty well, so that's always good. Oh, follow her. Follow her. Go on, baby. There's a decent fish as well. No. That's the first one I've seen, that was a good one that just followed it then. Really, really keen as well, and then just shot off. Had a bit of damage on its mouth, that, so it looks like it'd been caught pretty recently, like, but, oh man. It was well keen following that then, and then just gone. <sighs> okay, at least I've seen an interested fish, at least. Even though it didn't take it, but yeah, that's always nice to see. First interested one. Another follow up. Oh, it's not quite as big, but always took it. Got him. I'm trying to find it, but I've got him. <laughs> Is he good? Right, buddy. Nowhere near as big as the last one, but that's the first fish on my own design little lure. <laughs> Oh, he's got a, got a fish down his throat, you can see that. So, you see it in his stomach there, look. Just eating a fish, but he still went for that. Greedy little buggers this time here. But yeah, only a small one, but nice to get it on that uh, 
custom colour. It's, uh, yeah, it's a freezing cold fish. I can see why they're being a little bit slow. That is icy cold, that. So, yeah, I'll plop this back in. See you, homie. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit better rather than waiting to untangle my net and everything. I'm getting straight back like that. But, yes, first one on my custom colour. That was really, um, yeah, slow hit, that. Alright, first one's out of the way. Like, like I said, very, very slow fish. Um, and <laughs> followed it, and then just like stopped next to it. I gave it a twitch and it just like nipped at the back end. But luckily it nipped right where there was a hook, so... Yeah, <laughs> landed it, but not really in the mood. But I'll take that, that was the first one out of the way. Shame the bigger one didn't uh, hit it, but... I'll take that little one. Had a fish down its throat as well, so they are definitely feeding up right now. There's a uh, dog walker just gone past me. He's told me they've been getting quite a few on dead baits down here over the weekend. So, yeah, maybe that's why they're all a bit slow. They might be, you know, end of the session, dead bait has chuck all the dead baits and they might just be feeding up on those. Not really bothering chasing. But, yeah, still. They'll still hit those out of instinct anyway. Hopefully get another one. Hopefully a better one as well. Yeah, first one's out of the way. Stoked on that. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, wow, that's such a cool hit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that's a good fish. <laughs> oh, man, he slammed into that then. That was so cool. Come here, baby. Oh, he's took that so good. Come here, baby. Come on. There we go. Whew. Okay, that's a meter pike. All day. No way. I've just gone through a hole in my net. How? Come on, buddy. <laughs> How would that even happen? Okay, he's in. I've got a tiny little hole in my net and he went straight through it. <sighs> There's a... Well, we've got it. Oh, man. That's a meter fish, I think, all day. A bit better than I was expecting today. <laughs> yeah, it's decent, isn't it? A meter. <laughs> okay. There we go. Meter pike. Beauty on that home designed Abu Lure as well. Well happy with that one. There she goes. It's so awkward to land that but yeah that paint job is working. <laughs> absolutely nailed that fish then. I mean the fish absolutely nailed the bait. Got a little bit of leader damage. You can see that that bit you saw how deep that fish took the bait and it's yeah it's not cut through it it's just grazed it with a tooth if you can see that uh, little wisp there so i'm just gonna cut that bit off retie quick retie simple two turn blood knot um normally i crimp it but i've not got my crimps or pliers or anything on me right now so that'll have to do and uh yeah let's get back to it strong enough not that for it <sighs> That design, killer. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it there. Didn't get a third fish, unfortunately, but we did get a nice big one, so I'll take that. On the uh, custom painted, forgot what the bait's called, Svartsunker something. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with how that worked out. I'm happy with the color scheme I chose. And yeah, we've got a big fish. I hope that big hit 
turned out really well on camera because it looked so good in person. So yeah, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, it's a pretty cool idea doing the paint your own bait thing, but I really think they should sell it a little bit cheaper than a painted bait that's got hooks and everything on. So yeah, that's a bit annoying, but yeah, it's cool to have the chance to design your own color scheme on, you know, a normal lure. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Two fish, probably four or five others that I've seen as well today. But yeah, not too bad. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.